Hello traders. Welcome to our technical analysis tutorial. Today we are diving into one of the foundational concepts of technical analysis, the support and resistance levels. So for this tutorial, we are going to switch to the landscape mode to make our learning easier. Now let's talk about support and resistance level. Support and resistance level are key concepts in technical analysis that represents price levels where buying or selling pressure is expected to be significant. Now, how do you identify a support or a resistance level? Let's start with the support. Support levels are price levels where demand for an asset is strong enough to prevent further price decline. So, example is this. Traders often look out for areas where prices have previously bottomed out or bounced high multiple times. Now, how do you spot a resistance level? Resistance levels are price levels where selling pressure is strong enough to prevent further price increase. Traders typically identify resistance level where prices have previously peaked or encountered selling pressure multiple times. An example of this is this high. Now, how do you draw support and resistance lines? Traders draw support and resistance line on price charts to visually identify key levels. This line can be drawn horizontally or using trend lines depending on the price action. We can typically identify resistance level here because the prices have previously peaked or encountered selling pressure multiple times. And for support, we have areas where prices have previously bottomed out or bounced high multiple times. So this is how we get to know that we have a resistance or a support level on such areas. Now let's talk about when the support or resistance level get breached. Once the support level is breached, it often becomes a resistance level and vice versa. This phenomenon is known as roll reversal. In this case now, we expect the market to continue to sell. Note, in the case of resistance, when resistance level get breached, we expect the market to continue to buy. So how do we use the support and resistance as a trading strategy? Traders use support and resistance levels to develop various trading strategies. For example, buying near support level with a stop loss below or selling near resistance level with a stop loss above. These are common trading strategies. So in summary, Support and resistance levels are essential tools in a trader's toolkit. By understanding these levels and their significance in price action, traders can better analyze market trends, identify potential entries and exit points, and manage risk effectively. I hope you enjoy watching the video, and I hope you've learned what support and resistance is all about. That's all for this tutorial on support and resistance level. 